Hey guys, it's Dan Lapid of the Hebrew Hand Blacksmith. I just did something in the shop today and I thought it was pretty cool, so I'm going to share it with you. I had two flasks that I got, my parents got me a while back from when I went to St. Martin's. And they have, they're stainless steel and they have a patina and they have these, uh, uh, these painted on symbols. And I want to make, I'm making a costume that involves a flask for a game I play. And I need a flask, I need something to hold liquid that, but it needs to be period, so it wouldn't have this symbol on it. So I was thinking of what to do, and I had an idea. So I had two. This is the one I didn't use. Here's the one I finished with. So what I did was I had some ideas. I uh, tried painting it first, but because of the patina of it and the stainless steel, it, the paint just dripped off. That's why my hands are so black. That's the paint that I was trying to put on it. So I did that, and then I had the idea of wire brushing. Not wire brushing, uh, taking steel wool and steel wooling off the... the um, design the picture on there that worked a little bit but it was really pain tasking i think if i did if i used to steal will have been done by next week to get it done because it was just really annoying i was getting frustrated at one point i just throw it across the room <laughs> but um as i had the idea i was walking out to give up i remember being a blacksmith i was remember you know fire is the first thing you think of i remember I have a blowtorch in my shop so i have a blowtorch and i heat it up to a red heat the symbol this area make sure it wouldn't burn through so I want to be able to hold liquid. So I made sure it didn't burn through, and I and I burnt off. Um, so I burnt. I heated up the area where the symbol was, and the symbol was start to disappear a little bit. But I so I did a couple sessions of burning it, quenching it, burning it, quenching it, um, to see you no. Know, and then I had the idea of you no. Know, I so I heated up one more time. The symbol was still a little bit there at the, when I heated up the last time. But I took a wire brush to it, and while it was hot with my tongs, I held this with tongs. And I wire brushed it off while the heat while it was hot, red hot, and I got the symbol off. So this is kind of cool. I thought it was a thinking outside the box, but thinking outside the box a little bit. And of course, my fire always works. My theory: if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work the first time, heat it up, get hot in a fire, or hit with a hammer, or else I'm useless. So this is my idea. So before and after, taking the patina off and the symbolism, off, the symbol off the stainless steel. I mean, this would go work really well, and I did check it, it does. There's no holes in it. There, it the uh, patina melted off a little bit. You can still see some lumps, but that's not a hole. Everything's fine. I can hold liquid. See you on the next one, my little project.